We're here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory to feature our latest exhibit, Our Shared Planet, an art exhibit featuring wood carvings from award-winning artist Jim Ramsdell. Mr. Ramsdell is a self-taught artist who discovered his gifts late in life and wishes to share his talents with others. His wood sculptures have been included in several art shows, including the highly prestigious Birds and Art Exhibit at the Lee Yaki Woodson Art Museum in Wausau, Wisconsin. His works have also been featured in national publications, including Wildlife Art, and World Wildfowl Carving and Collecting and Competition Annual Magazines. And now I'm here with the artist, Jim Ramsdell, whose art we're featuring here at Como. Thank you so much for being here. We're having some great responses on your art. Well, that's nice to hear. I'm really glad to be part of it all. Now, what made you get into wood carving? It's an interesting story. I was at a point in my life where I was seeking some change, and I was uh, had a great job making good money and all, but just something was missing. And I was looking for this gift that I felt I had. And so I ended up selling everything and taking a journey to Alaska. It was just going to be a few months, but it ended up being a 10-year stay. But in the meantime, I came back for a job in Wisconsin and saw a book on fish carving. And it captured my interest, so I bought the tools I needed and tried it. And right away when I could do it, I could feel that that's what I'd been looking to do. And that's how I originally began carving. What made you want to start a project like this? Uh, that was, uh, well, it was probably one night at about 3 in the morning. I was thinking about what I could do with my uh, carvings. and. At that point, I had done a number of exhibit pieces for the Alaska Sea Life Center and other interpretive centers in Alaska, but I really wanted a focus for my art itself. And this idea or vision came to me at 3 o'clock in the morning to put together a traveling environmental awareness exhibit to travel around to nature centers and museums. And it seemed like a daunting task, but that's when it all started, the idea. How do you select which animals you're going to carve? Well, in many respects, that's how I'm lucky as an artist. I choose some of my favorite animals that I've always wanted to work on, or the environments, because there's a n number of their environments are in trouble around the world. So I just start picking through, and I still have a list in my head, but I'll start with, like, say, the rainforest. They have the toucans here in the exhibit, and they're the ambassadors for the health of the rainforest. What is your process like? Are there any specific tools you use to get these extremely intricate pieces of art? I use quite a variety of tools for the bigger ones like the orca that's in the exhibit. I start out with uh, an electric chainsaw and I work down from there to grinders and sanders and then I use, um, for detail, I use a lot of knives and wood burning pens and chisels and then it's, uh, they're painted with acrylic paints when they're done. But the, all my tools, too, an interesting part of that, like the electric chainsaw, are run with uh, solar power. So it's, it's nice, to, like the chainsaw is quieter and doesn't put any uh, pollutants into the air, being part of an environmental awareness exhibit. So, Can you tell us what visitors will see here at Como? Well, there's quite a number of creatures that are in the exhibit now. There's salmon, the orcas, there's hawks and owls, and wolves and polar bears and the most recently introduced is a rhinoceros and there's also a tiger and a few others a whale and some others that people will just have to come by and see for themselves what do you want people to take away from this exhibit well i hope that people will when they come into the exhibit in our rushed world it's nice to come in and reconnect with nature and also the ambient music that's playing too helps people slow down a little bit and try to provide a meditative space. So I hope that they'll come out with more of an appreciation of nature and a connection of our lives with it, including the creativity it takes to put the exhibit together. Again, thank you so much for being here and putting your amazing displays of art here. Uh, we look forward to continuing our work. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to working with people as they come through the exhibit, including having the solar powered trailer out the yard and doing demonstrations, and uh, also accompanying people and informing them about the exhibit while they're here. If you would like to see this beautiful exhibit, stop by now through Labor Day, where our shared planner is on display in the exhibit gallery.